What's going on, everyone? Nico here with the Wooden Spoon. We have an, another episode of the sit down. Took a took a week off because it's festival season, and I'm joined by a pretty good friend of mine. All the way, well, he's in Philly now, but he's from Pittsburgh. We got Jimmy Big Muscles on the podcast. What's up, everyone? Today. What's hey, going thank on, you for Jimmy? Me on. Thank you for having me on today. Oh, dude, of course, of course. I was on. I was fortunate enough to get in your vlog that just dropped. What was yeah, that? A couple yeah. weeks ago. The 24 Hours in New York. For sure, man. Yeah. So, yeah, um, what, what's going on? Bit. How's uh, how's your summer been so far? It's been great. I had a. Well, I'm just been traveling around, honestly, for the whole entire summer. I only got that's like the month. best thing to do, though, during the summer. Just go and see. Like, people don't realize how many kind of cool places there are. Just like, just even like on the East Coast and. Oh, 100 percent, especially on the East Coast too. If for you sure. like Italian food, there's a bunch to discover. Yeah. So, so what brought what brought you to Philly? Uh, I'm just traveling around. I'm actually coming home from the beach and, you know, it's along the way. So I'm going to stop and meet up with some friends here and show nice. me around. Awesome. Yeah. Man. That sounds cool. But um, t- I want to I want to hear some like uh, about Pittsburgh a little bit, because I've never really like I've only been to Pittsburgh once, which where we kind of I guess we'll just jump back for a second. Yeah. We met at the Bloomfield Italian Fest in 2019. And it was so funny. I have your I have your card that you gave me still, too. <laughs> Right, You're right. I remember. Car. So, and then like freaking a year later, you pop off on TikTok. You're hanging out with growing up Italian, and then I think maybe I was, I think I was like on a face call with Sabino or something like that. And he goes, "Oh yeah, this is Jimmy from Pittsburgh." I go, "Oh, good to meet you." He goes, "Dude, we've met before." <laughs> and I went, "Holy shit!" Right. Like what a small world. Right. It was like right before one of our trips to New York. He yeah. Like, oh, you need to meet Nico from One Spoon. I was like, "Oh, I already know him." <laughs> I know. <laughs> we funny because it was before i even started doing videos you were still doing wooden spoon already mm-hmm. but yeah it was awesome so you want me to talk about like that that festival for a little bit yeah right. yeah let's talk about yeah actually just go into like pittsburgh so what's it like because i know like new york, being italian in new york city is great brooklyn like jersey like buffalo it's okay it's not as great here but like what's the like the, the italian american scene out in pittsburgh like so I feel like people aren't from Pittsburgh. It's it's like one of those cities that get kind of overlooked for Italians and mm-hmm. Italian culture in general because like it's not it's not like New Jersey or like areas in New Jersey and New York, but it, it's still it's still up there. You know, a lot of Italians are in uh, Pittsburgh. We have a pretty strong culture here. Uh, just immigrants in general in Pittsburgh. Uh, I think the one difference that separates from like Pittsburgh to Toronto is that a lot of the Italians in Pittsburgh have been established in the United States for some time. You know, like my family, uh, I don't really know. I know there is a lot of others, but mm-hmm. not too many of them came over so recently. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. For sure. And it's like, it's funny too, because there's like, there's even like a trail. Like if you go, for, it's mm-hmm. like, pittsburgh and then there's like there's a pretty good italian community like in the buffalo niagara falls area then it goes like toronto right. it's like a straight line right right and i i'm assuming they probably came the same reason for buffalo too but the reason all the immigrants came to pittsburgh is because there's just a lot of work there's a lot of construction and then the steel mills too yeah like, there's uh, a huge there's a huge uh bethlehem right. steel was the big um company out in buffalo mm-hmm. same like in pittsburgh i mean Everyone call it, you know, we're Steel City. We have the Steelers. Mm-hmm. Like that's a, it used to all be steel mills. Not, not anymore. I like, got changed. Yeah. But a long time ago, when everybody was coming, it was all steel mills, and that's where everybody worked. Dude, I, it's a good Pittsburgh history lesson for the day. Right. <laughs> and think, okay, go that on. that area where the festival is. So we have this festival every year in Pittsburgh. It's called uh, Bloomfield Little Italy Days, and that's where we met. That's in Bloomfield. Bloomfield used to be the like original, uh, original neighborhood for Italians in Pittsburgh. Gotcha. That's like where everyone lived. Uh, when my family came here, we moved to uh, Brookline. Uh, Brookline, there's also a lot of Italians in Brookline. And just like any other uh, bigger city, there's like Bloomfield's a little Italy. We have uh, like something called Polish Hill where there's a lot of Polish immigrants. We have like areas where there's a lot of Lebanese, uh, Irish. So it it is a bit of a melting pot, just like a a smaller level. Yeah, for sure. That's so cool. I know. I remember, I think, 
Oh my God. It must, it was years and years ago. Wasn't there like a TV show called like the Godfather of Pittsburgh or something like that? Yeah, there is. There was, I watched probably two episodes of it. Um, <laughs> I know. Me too. I know. It was like, oh my God, I, I can't even remember I that mean, guy's name. That just like literally came from like the back of my head. I could, I can't even remember yeah. that. I, I watched a few episodes. I don't really remember it. So I'm not, it was just like sure, but <laughs> some dude that owned really a strip club. That, <laughs> yeah, I don't think that really, really says much for all the Italians in Pittsburgh. Because I was excited when it first came out, and mm-hmm. then I watched it. I was like, oh. I know. The only thing Buffalo's got <laughs> going for us is the four falls of uh, Buffalo. Yeah. Absolutely. ESPN 30 for 30, how the Bills lost four Super Bowls in a row. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, but you, mean, got, you guys got a good, uh, good sports in Pittsburgh. Yeah, we do. We do. And uh, our fans are a little crazy sometimes, too. I mean, not as crazy as other fans. They're just really – they're passionate. They're passionate yeah, about this. Yeah, I know. We're out here breaking Especially. tables in Buffalo, man. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you guys you guys know how to get a little yeah. crazy. <laughs> crazy house, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it's looking up. But, I mean, for, that, like, a franchise like the Steelers, I would trade maybe. To, like, yeah. have seen a Super Bowl win, that must be cool. <laughs> right. it, it is cool. I, I was never a huge football fan, but it, it's cool to have good sports teams. Yeah, I mean, hey, we had a, we had a Euro Cup victory this year, so I'm not complaining. We did. We did. <laughs> I know. And just shameless plug on my end, make sure to go watch the YouTube video that I just dropped yesterday. Yeah. I was in Brooklyn. Dude, these freaking Brooklynites are, are something else, man. They're the best. They're I know. The best. Where did where, you watch the game? I just watched it in my uh, house. I had some friends over. Nice. Yeah, nothing too big. Just some cousins, friends. That's yeah, all. I mean, that's the way to do it. Yeah. And, but, like, I was driving to Brooklyn because I asked Sabina, go, where should I go watch the game? He goes, and he tells yeah. me some places. And I go, all right. So I'm driving. I, late, Like, uh, left late as usual. And, like, while I'm driving, I'm watching it on my phone. And they England scores in two minutes. And, like, just, <laughs> like, do we, do we even bother going? Oh, Luckily, we so did. Nervous. Yeah, luckily I went and uh, got some street interviews and reactions. It was it was wild. Yeah, I was so nervous the whole entire game. I was jealous too of watching all the updates <laughs> from where you were in Brooklyn because that that looked crazy. That looked I know crazy. my dude, my guy uh, Robbie Ooh. that we had on the podcast the other week came in freaking from Jersey, like drove in two something out, two hours and change just to come yeah. celebrate. It was wild. See, that's the one reason I love New York, and I I know you're you do too because you're there right now still, right? No, no, no. I'm back home in Buffalo for the festival season. I'll be back in September though. But I mean, like, you could probably relate. Like, we have our Italian communities, but then you go there and like something like with the Euro Cup with what just happened, that would be crazy. I I I would love to see something like that in Pittsburgh. I'm sure if it was organized, if it was organized, people would do it. So. You know, I think the craziest part of the Bro- the Brooklyn thing, it, I don't think it was that organized. Like, <laughs> no, people just, kept, I mean, they had like the big TV and out. So there was something, but right. like people just kept coming and coming and coming. And then like just a, a mock shift parade just happened. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. It was hilarious. But yeah, I mean, you come down, you go down to the city a lot too. You make, um, I do. yeah. How far is that drive from Pittsburgh? I know I've asked you that before. It's about like six hours. Oh, it's yeah. not too bad. I've got like no, it's not awful if you're staying a few days, but it's yeah. pretty long still. Yeah, I got like with stops, it's like eight hours for me. Oh, okay. yeah. I don't really yeah, push. I don't push my car that much though either. Usually, yeah. I'm I'm lugging a ton of shit too. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. But like, let's talk about. I guess um, like you you just blew up on TikTok, right? That was like was the first blow up. Yeah. What was, was the What was the video for you to like pop off? The first video that kind of went crazy was actually like, it was pretty much like my third video I posted. Oh, shit. <laughs> and, and I mean, if I go back and look at it now to what my videos have become, it's like, it's, it seems a little crazy. Like, there's yeah. not really, it was like a collage of pictures and photos. And it was just, I put a real quick video together of uh, stuff I had of my family making wine one year mm-hmm. and, you know, put, put the tarantella in the background and it just went crazy and everybody loved it. And I was like, okay, like, okay. There's a lot of people that can relate to this. So I kept I doing it. Um, you know, I take videos of my non all the time and those ones especially go crazy because everybody, everybody loves to see her cook. 
Yeah, for sure. And then you guys have your own cooking show too, right? Right, right. That's all up on the, the Growing Up Italians YouTube. Yeah. yeah, be sure to check out the Growing Up Italian YouTube. Watch uh, Jimmy cook. It's uh, Nona Rita, right? Yes. yes. Awesome. Yeah, so like, what? So, was that kind of just like out of the blue, or did you like like shoot some videos and then like kind of transition to it, or was it like, no, no, we're gonna we're gonna do a cooking show? <laughs> it, it was it was a little bit just like that. So I always just videoed her cook, okay, mm -hmm. and those were just for the TikTok ones. And then you know I was talking to Sabina once I was joining the Growing Up Italians crew, and he's saying we need to get some some cooking shows together. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know what, you're right, you know, because I just have a video, people don't really. It's hard to follow along just seeing them do it. You know, I had no directions in the video. Yeah. So, yeah, I just told her. I said, "Hey, I'm gonna have to gonna have to come in and video, video whenever you make this, when you make this, you know." So I'll just come in. I set up my stuff. Uh, usually, I'm just there by myself doing it. <laughs> I try to get my sisters to come help, but sometimes they're really busy. So I click play, run around the table. Oh man, I know seconds, exactly how that goes. My mom and run I run back around, click pause grab it off take it then i have to flip it around take the tiktok video of it too because i do the two videos and yeah it's a little hard to keep up because um now now she's she like she's better the whole they like they understand the whole cooking show because everybody like all my other tias and everybody they'll call and they'll say hey i saw your show no. i saw your i saw you cook so now they get real uh serious about it yeah but that yeah, that's got to be like one of the hardest things to do is shoot a whole cooking show and do a TikTok of the same thing at the same time. Mm -hmm. With with like Zia's and Nana's cooking because they don't stop, you know? Yeah. Like I, I'll get my stuff ready. I'm like, okay, is this, uh, so we're going to need like five eggs for it? She's like, yeah, five eggs. And just dumps it right in the flour and starts mixing. I'm like, oh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I have to hurry up. I was like, here, I need to take a video of that. <laughs> I know. Yeah, they're too hectic. And then they don't measure anything either. So it's like, sometimes like, how much did you put in? Like, I don't know. I just put yeah. it in. I just put it in. Yeah. That, that's one hard thing about making the recipes. I have to look back at it and just kind of, you know, I have to figure it out. Sometimes I'll make it myself and I'll measure it out. And I'll be like, okay, that, that seems to wrap. Yeah, right. that's the, I think that's the way to do it. I know I still have like, my mom and I were doing it just over like, well, like nobody was working while it was like deep COVID. And I still have like yeah. six, like, six videos of just unedited material and she's just like when are you gonna finish the cooking show <laughs> it's like i got editing oh, hard on it oh it's my god it's day. the worst it's the absolute worst dude you saw i mean i just put that brooklyn vlog up i right. shot that a month ago all right it i did it forever. on a different computer and then i went to export it this was like two weeks ago i finished it and it wouldn't export so i had to i had to transfer all of like just the raw footage on my other laptop and then export yeah. it so it was like it's stuff like that that makes it take forever. It always oh my God, is. I know. I know. <laughs> or your phone. Like I edit mine on my iPad. I'll say full storage. Oh my God. <laughs> I, oh, I start know. deleting a bunch of things, moving a bunch of stuff around. Dude, I've got like 10 Google drives that are just filled, <laughs> filled up, just making new emails <laughs> just for Google drive. I know. <laughs> yeah, man. So what's like, what's coming up in, uh, in the, like that, in that world, like the content world, anything, uh, any new plans or. Exactly. Yeah, I'm going to start working on uh, a bunch of stuff, actually. Uh, I'm going to wait to release this one thing. But whenever I do, I, I want to get back on the show with you or you come hop on. Maybe I'll make a podcast with you. And we can oh, talk dude, about absolutely. It. Anytime, anytime. But, but yeah, until then, I'm just going to keep making my, uh, you know, our cooking shows and keep filming the TikToks. You know, I, I haven't been posting as much lately just because I've been running around so much but i've also been building up a bunch of content that's gonna be ready to release soon that's cool so, man do you like shooting the vlogs more do you like shooting like the cooking shows i like i like shooting the vlogs like so much more the vlogs are fun the vlogs are fun and you know especially with the vlogs you get to meet a bunch of people like last time i remember marco was showing us around oh Italy. yeah like that was really fun we got mm -hmm. to meet like the cannoli king and everybody and <laughs> like like that, there's just, that was there's just characters that pop in and out it is it is that's fun i know do you right. gotta come down you gotta come down to the city for san gennaro this year i know i know they wanted me to sell my limoncello down there oh remember really we, remember, we were, remember we were talking about it oh yeah I, uh, I don't think i got it all set up yet in time so maybe next year maybe. all right yeah i'm a, i'm just gonna be down there i'm not setting up a tent or anything i'm gonna be exhausted by then with the yeah set up but i'm gonna be down there shooting a ton of content maybe doing some street interviews something similar from from from, from brooklyn so 
Right. Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely have to run down. Dude, for sure. I mean, Dude. I haven't been there yet for that festival. I've right never here. been for San Gennaro. I've never been. I've always Dude. wanted to go. It's just like, because September is a weird month too, especially like, right. like years ago, like when I was still in school and stuff. It's like, yeah, you're not getting out. <laughs> you're not leaving right. for a week to go to New York in September. But now that I'll be there, it should be a freaking <laughs> blast. Yeah, it should be. I'll definitely make it out. I'll have to take a shot of the limoncello out of your spoon. Dude, this freak or what's <laughs> that? Next, next, weekend. next weekend. So we'll let everybody know August 19th to the 22nd, the wooden spoon will be in the Bloomfield Italian Festival. Yeah. We've got shirts, we got custom spoons, flags, everything. And right now we're in the process of making a special shot spoon this is just this is brand new news just finished engraving it we got the giant spoon it could actually hold a 12 ounce beer or seltzer so oh my god that's a little bit more than a shot but i know <laughs> it's we, got a special, shot. we got a special spoon so <laughs> either maybe that friday or saturday night you could you come down you bring the limoncello and we're gonna have a freaking yeah. party at our booth <laughs> oh 100 percent 100 percent I'll definitely so, be hanging out of your booth for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, <laughs> so Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh's got to show up next week. It should be a blast. All right. And then after, after actually, we'll make a video together. And sure. I need to show you around some of this, my favorite spots in Pittsburgh. 100%. Yeah. I know. Then we could do, just, maybe we'll do a little vlog. For 100%. <laughs> I'd like, like to see more of Pittsburgh and stuff. Because I feel yeah. like, because I'll go to these places like for like the festivals and everything. And then I'm like, just at my booth for like four days. Right. It's, just, it's like, I didn't see anything. I just saw this creepy right. guy walk by. The whole <laughs> Cause there's some characters yeah. in Pittsburgh too. There sure. is, there is. And the thing with Pittsburgh, I mean, it's like this with every single city, but you almost need somebody to show you around to see the best places. You know, if you could go around by yourself and still have a great time and like see and like really look into it on your phone, find out where you should go. But if you have someone showing you around, yeah. It, yeah that's we'll, the way to do I'm it. Sure. I know. That's like going to New York City, like blindfolded. Yeah. I know, but <laughs> Not I as hard as that, but, <laughs> but you'll still, you'll miss some of the good stuff. Yeah. I remember two years ago, I just had like the, cra like Pittsburgh had some of the craziest people there too. Just absolute, <laughs> just nut jobs. I mean. Yeah. I remember that one video you posted that was that one lady screaming. Oh my God. <laughs> they were at my booth. I'll just backstory on this. So I have a, I have, there's a, a really old, they're not old. They must be like in their late fifties, early sixties. And they just look, they, they show up hammered and it's the first day of the festival. I think it's Thursday. So Thursday, the festival is only open for like two hours or so, just like a dry run. And they show up yeah. just hammered with one of their friends, some other lady. And she sees the spaghetti. She sees the shirt, the spaghetti shirt. Yeah. And she goes, you should, you should have a shirt that says rigatoni. And I go, why would I do that? She clearly didn't grasp the concept. And she goes, because if I, you know, this is what, this is exactly what she said. I'm not, I don't, I'm not shitting you. She goes, because if I ever opened up an Italian restaurant, it would be called a rigatoni only. And we would only serve rigatoni. I go, lady, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Hey, they're Yenzers. Oh my god! And then she grabbed the spoon, and started hitting her husband, and it was just—you could see that on the TikTok, but yeah, that's what was on it. Oh my god! I hope she didn't see that. She's gonna come kill me this time or <laughs> this year. Yeah, you better be, you better watch out. I know, but I mean, I was just in Youngstown, Ohio, last week, and it was something else there. I don't really? even. Wanna... Have you ever been to Youngstown, Ohio? I played sports games in Youngstown, but that was about it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't go there. there. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to shit on it yeah. so bad, but because I have I did meet some really awesome people in Youngstown for sure, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I've I've only been in and out. I haven't I looked it up it after. Too. It's got like one of the worst crime rates in like any city in America. Really? Yeah. I guess because we were like in the city center part, which is nice, but like I guess if you cross some bridge, you're like you might as well be in just like the worst part of america it's insane yeah i know yeah. there was like biker gangs hanging out so i saw some biker get like ex escorted by two cops just out of the festival and some the cop had like the some i guess he had a gun or something and the cop was like walking him out with the guy's gun it's like okay that's oh, happening man. just at a family <laughs> festival. Young sound, i'm like kind of surprised <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> anyways <laughs> don't want to shit on them too bad but no well, whatever. I mean, we're looking forward to... You can't, you can't in Pittsburgh. I know. Nah, Pittsburgh, <laughs> yeah, Pittsburgh was, dude, Pittsburgh, 
they they draw a crowd for that festival i'm excited i remember the numbers that i did saturday sunday like we must there must have been like almost a hundred thousand people that went to that that festival oh yeah it's really crowded like that's like that's what i mean whenever people say oh like pittsburgh isn't really on the map for being an Italian city, but it, it is like, you can yeah, tell no, it for sure. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure it's bigger than Buffalo in terms of Italians. And you could, you could tell whenever like we have festival Italian festivals, everyone comes out. Um, for a few years ago, he's gone now, but we had a catcher on the pirates and he was Italian. So oh, really? I think, yeah. Oh, nice. He was Italian and you should see all like the Italian merch that everybody would wear. Like, there'd oh, be people in the stands with, flags and everything it, would be, it was exciting that's cool man. Yeah. His, his walkout song was uh what was it it was some dean martin song and everybody would go crazy dude. everybody would put their arms around each other oh my god that's so funny but, i know but yeah it's definitely a good city for uh yeah. for italian things and you'll see you'll see when you get there because i have a few places in mind to take you awesome a few places awesome dude well i'm so <laughs> pumped everybody else make sure you come down the booth august 19th through the 22nd Go to, I think it's Little Italy Bloomfield or Bloomfield Italian Days. Is just Google that. Yeah. You'll find info on the festival. We're there. T-shirts, wooden spoons. We're going to have Jimmy Big Muscles, Limoncello, shots out of the spoon. It's going to be a freaking, it's going to be a movie. I hate, I hate people that say that, but it's going to be a movie. <laughs> you have to say it sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. But uh, Jimmy, let everybody know where they could follow you too. All right, yeah, you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, uh, just, just Jimmy Big Muscles on on anything, really. All right, yeah, so. we'll, we'll be sure to put it in the description of the podcast. But, dude, thank you so much for coming on. I'm so pumped to uh, come hang out uh, next week. Thank you. I'm excited for you to come down. It's awesome, going to be a fun man. time. Awesome. Well, safe travels back home, brother. All right, thank you. Awesome. Everybody else, thank you for listening. Um, we'll see you hopefully next week on the sit down. Be sure to subscribe and go follow the wooden spoon on YouTube. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, watch the vlogs, watch the podcast there. But uh, we'll catch you next week. Ciao.